and welcome back to today's video which is a preview about the Bristol City match tomorrow night at Molyneux uh, following up a, a, another good result, a 1-0 win against Millwall but personally still if you watch the video um, on Saturday about my thoughts on Saturday's performance I don't think it was a good performance still um, you know, people have argued with me on Twitter and in the comments down below, which is great because that's what this channel is for, is to stimulate discussion between Wolves fans in a friendly uh, way, although some people have unsubscribed as a result of that, which is a shame because this is a forum for Wolves fans to come and share ideas. So yeah, I've thought personally that from 70% possession that we didn't create enough chances for that level of possession. Now, people would disagree with me, fair enough, I don't mind that, but you can't argue with the fact that we should have been more than 1-0 up. That is a fact. We should have created better chances. If anybody watched the Manchester City against Liverpool game, I think Manchester City's attacking movement is much is what we should be aiming to get to. The way that they got the ball in behind Liverpool's defensive unit was impressive to see. The through balls that they were playing were was good. And I don't think we're too far away from doing that. I think we're just a little bit, perhaps a little bit of team cohesion and stuff like that that's going on behind the scenes will eventually lead to us being able to carry out moves like that. I, I really, I am very positive about the Wolves. People calling me negative because I criticised our team having won the match. But Nuno, Nuno is always talking about learning and growing and developing as a team and as a squad. And I think lessons needed to have been learnt on Saturday from that performance. Great that we controlled the game, we didn't look in danger of drawing or losing at any point up until the last couple of minutes where John Ruddy made a couple of vital saves and we could have ended up coming away from that game with only one point instead of three. In the end it was three and another clean sheet, good. And I also found uh, a little tiny little bit from the end of Nuno's interview uh, after the game on Saturday, very interesting. He said, he mentioned in particular the fans, and I don't think I mentioned this in my video on Saturday, but I did talk about it on Twitter. The ground on Saturday was quiet. There were points in the game where the South Bank was singing and the North Bank was singing, but on the whole, there were large sections of the game where you could hear the players clearly on the pitch shouting to each other. You could hear just general sort of chit chat going on. And that comes from the sort of slow pace of the play on the pitch. Look, I'm very, very happy that we're winning games. I'm happy that we're not conceding goals, but I just wish that we'd score just another goal, just to have that security of in case we do concede. I'm aware that it's a work in progress and I'm hoping that we'll build on these, on these lessons. But anyway, to come to the game against Bristol City. Lost the last game against Bristol City, 3-1, but that was a Tammy Abraham-inspired performance from them. Uh, we beat them in the corresponding fixture last year, 3-2 on Boxing Day, uh, which is a lively affair, and in the end, possibly Bristol could have argued that they had the equalising goal. If you remember, there was a goal-line scramble, uh, which we had the better of, and then the final whistle was blown. But over the last six games, Wolves have only lost the one back in April, and back in 2015 in Bristol have been in a fairly good run of form themselves they're only losing one of the last six games but they've drawn three of those and only won two so Wolves have the edge in that respect as well. Interestingly on Saturday morning before the game against Millwall Helder Costa was spotted training so he's getting closer to fitness I think he's possibly the missing link to the type of football that I enjoy watching. I do like seeing players running at defenders and trying to get past them. And I think that's he could be the key to developing this style of football even further and, and taking us to that next level. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about our style of football. Would you be happy to see us playing this possession-based game and winning 20 games 1-0 and seeing us get promoted like this or would you rather see us sort of finishing in the playoffs with this swashbuckling running at defence sort of style. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more Wolves content and discussion in the comments and I'll see you next time, bye bye.